Hey kitties, I'm Lenikia and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is General Hospital Edition. Alright guys, um, today is Wednesday, June the 14th, 2022. Let's jump right into this. Um, we see, sorry about that. Okay, so we see Curtis is at his birthday party, right? And Zeke is there, but he has to leave because he has to meet Drew. And so everyone is at this party. They're all excited, um, you know, because it's his birthday and they're happy for him. And Portia is looking around and they're like, Curtis is there, like, what's up? And she was like, she was just hoping that. And she turns around and Trina is there and she's giving, Trina is there to give Curtis a present. So they all gather around and they're toasting Curtis. Marshall gives a speech and it's real cute. And, you know, everybody's happy that they finally have Trina in the family and everything, right? And so then, you know, they were like, oh, Stella is like, oh, we have uh, Trina here this year. Everything is so great. And let's take a family portrait. Like, they're pushing too hard. And so Trina's like, um, I got to go to the bathroom. And so Marshall goes over and he talks to Stella. You know, they break away from the group. And he's like, girl, I know you're excited to have Trina. And so am I. Like, it's my granddaughter. It's your uh, great niece. But you got to calm down. Like, we can't push her like this. This is a lot for her to take in. And she said, you know, I, you're right. Um, she said, but doesn't she remind you of, you know, her sister, uh, which is Marshall's wife, ex-wife? And she was like, yeah. He was. He told her, yes, she does. Um, so then Curtis and Portia are talking. And, you know, um, Curtis just says, we got to, I think Marshall is talking uh, to on Stella now about, you know, just give her her space, give Trina her space. And he said, we need to, you know, just ease her into this. But he's glad she came to his birthday party. Y'all might hear Mila. She's in the background, but she's in another room. But girl is loud like me. <laughs> so she says, okay, yeah, Curtis, but what are we doing? This is Portia and so you know i i like portia but i don't i don't like her in this moment and i'm gonna tell you why later but um so she's like but curtis what are we doing and he was like we're taking it slow like we're going day by day you know getting into it and she said but are we really because we just avoid the whole topic i said portia like he said yeah they're gonna just keep you know he's there He's there, and then she complains because uh, uh, Trina is living with Carly, and he said, well, I mean, she stays with Joss in the dorm, so this is just an extension of that. Girl, girl, you kept a big secret for a long time. Like, what are you talking about? Anyways, child, so then from there we go, and we see that Zeke meets up with Jordan, and so he meeting up with Jordan or whatever. He said, I thought you was going to forget about me. I said, I'm fine, Jordan. But then he got to go because he has to meet with Drew. You know, he has a client. She said, this is becoming a habit. But he tells her he'll meet up with her later. And she's like, all right, cool. So she's about to leave. And Drew sits down with Zeke when Taggart comes stumbling in. Because Taggart is a little lit. He's litty. And um, he's he's been drinking because he's not taking this well, you know. And so um, he tells Jordan, let's have a drink. And she said, no, let's go and get you a, like, go to your, get you a room or go to your room or something. Anyways, they end up going to the room and Zeke looks and he sees this, right? So Portia gets Taggart up the stairs and he already told me, let's order some room service. You want a mimosa or Bloody Mary? She said, sir, all you're going to have is water. What's going on with you? And he was like, you don't know what I've been through, uh, Jordan. And then she thinks back to her conversation with uh, Portia about, you know, Portia telling her Tagger could probably use a friend right now. And she says, you're talking about the DNA results. And he said, oh, well, you do know what I'm going through. I hate this for Taggart. It, bro it breaks my heart to see how devastated he is. And he can't show it. Like, he can't show it to anyone and so it's just heartbreaking to see how much confusion Portia caused cause. and that's why I don't like Portia right now I'm like I like you but I don't like you right now because you sitting over here begging um trying to get your life back to the way you just want this uh, okay Trina's your daughter and and um you know now you should forgive me and let's move work on our marriage and and everything while this man over here is just turning into an alcoholic well he's not really but he drink trying to drink his pain away and stuff it just makes me sick <laughs> alexa stop 
anyways um so that's what's going on with them right with that right and jordan is just like tagger you are still her father you're still the man who raised her and he said i i, I thought i was gonna be okay with this but maybe i was just holding out hope that she was mine he said i, I saw trina last night and she was planning telling me all about her plans her summer and nothing's changed for her but he was like the world has changed for him and he feels like he's already being pushed to the side oh girls and guys and everyone i just hate it for him i just hate it for him so let's move on child because you know jordan was just trying to comfort him as best as she could so then she sends zeke a message and tells him um hit me up as soon as you can because she's like i need to talk to him before he, he talks to his sister so then we see that um Portia actually ends up running into Zeke and he tells her he saw he saw Taggart. This is after his meeting with Drew. He saw Taggart go into the hotel. Um and he's not doing he saw Taggart and he at least he thinks he saw him and he's not doing well. So then we see before Zeke met up with Portia, he actually had a sit down with Drew. And he told Drew, as your lawyer, I don't know if you should do this, but Drew says if his little plan doesn't go according to plan then i guess he's gonna um turn himself in so that carly doesn't have to go to prison right so then speaking of carly she ends up talking um to drew as well and she tells him that she you know because she's a little upset and he's like what's up and she said she having a bad um she had a bad time with olivia because she oh, might have said something she shouldn't have said and and olivia um you know let loose on her and he says she's just mad right now y'all been friends a long time y'all get over this so then they talking and and she tells him she couldn't turn that you know use the information against sunny you know she's not gonna roll on him and so he tells her um hey, mama why are you laying on me so he tells her okay um but what happens now and and he lets her know like if it's what come, comes down to you and you are you and I, one of us has to go and I'll go instead of the both of us going. So that's it with them, y'all. So speaking of Carly, she was over there with Olivia, right? So Carly's over there. Um, Brooklyn and Olivia, you know, are there and Olivia is crying into her rosary and, you know, praying. And she says she remember being young. She remembers being younger and like, I would never be like that. Like her mother and her aunts and, and grandmothers and all them, you know, they would be doing that. She was like, but now I get it. It does. I'm, I'm old now and it does give you comfort. And I said, I get it. I, I completely understand what she's saying. Um, when you get older, things that you were like, oh, no. You realize you started to do it now and you understand you understand it more. Because at the time, you're young and immature and you don't understand. You know, you haven't lived life long enough to get it. Ma'am. So then, um, oh, you know, and she says she hasn't heard any word update about ned to brooklyn and that's when carly shows up she's olivia's like i just need a sign um from god that everything's gonna be okay and then carly comes up with some coffee and everything and and olivia's kind of looking at her like mm -hmm. and carly said i don't i don't have to stay i just heard about everything that happened and you know i just wanted you to know i was here for you and brooklyn sees it's awkward and she tells her thank you so much for bringing this and you know, and all that. And um, TJ comes and Carly was like, I, I'll i leave or whatever. But Olivia tells her she wants her to stay. So it was a nice moment with them, you know, kind of starting to try to bond again. But then TJ gives them news about the swelling on Ned's brain. And he says, you know, it's not, it, it's not going as well as they hoped as far as you know releasing some of that pressure and everything that they were trying to do overnight um so if it doesn't work then they're going to have to do surgery which of course is terrifying to olivia and brooklyn and all them so brooklyn ends up having to leave i can't remember why but i think she leo was with tracy um and so she wanted to up olivia said i have to update tracy and brooklyn said i'll i'll run interference i'll do it and so she's like okay so that leaves carly and olivia baby why did brooklyn leave them because then um 
Olivia was like, oh gosh, this whole thing with Ned is a nightmare. Thank God Drew was there. She doesn't know what happened with what happened with him. And Carly said, there isn't anyone that Drew wouldn't help. Woo, baby, what did she say that for? Olivia turned around and looked at Carly, and Carly instantly knew. I done said something wrong. And she was like, I didn't mean it like that, Olivia. And she said, no, 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 no. You trying to say Ned uh, did that to Drew. You still think Ned did that to Drew. And how gracious it is for Drew to help Ned knowing what he Ned tried to destroy him. She ain't say those, say those exact words, but y'all know I'm paraphrasing. That's what I heard. And so, baby, when I tell you Olivia lit into Carly... And Carly was, I mean, what can you say? She understands Olivia is upset. So she just told her, I wasn't trying to mean it like that, Olivia. I'm sorry. And she told her, listen, you think Ned did that to y'all with the SEC. Right now, I need people who care about my husband and want him to make it out of this. That's not you. You can go. And so then um Dante and Sam um they come up because they had been um okay so Dante and Sam had been with Sasha and Gladys earlier so now they've come over here and they heard the tail end of Olivia and Carly fussing and they're like what's going on and Carly said is it Ned like uh no Dante said is it Ned and Carly said no it's me and I'll leave um I just want you to know I'm praying for you Olivia your family and Ned I I don't want anything to happen and so she leaves right <sighs> And so when she leaves, Sam gets a call and she says, shoot, I have to take this at Scout. So that gives Dante a chance to talk to Olivia. So he's talking to her and she tells him, um, you know, he's asking her what's going on with her mom, with uh, her and Carly. And she said, I don't want to talk about it or whatever. And so when she doesn't want to talk about it, he's like, all right, um, you know, she just tells him that Ned's every she gives him the update on Ned and and he says Ned's a fighter mom everything's going to be all right. Yay. Everything's going to be all right. And so then we see that um TJ comes and at that point Sam comes back as well. So it's Sam, Olivia, uh Dante and TJ and he tells her that they are actually seeing improvement with Ned so um right now it doesn't look like they're gonna have to put him in surgery and she jumps into each of TJ's arms she's so excited and so then he tells her but you know he's not out of the woods because we not we need to see you know his functions and what this actually did to him but for right now they're um they're um they're optimistic about you know what what could happen with ned's condition and everything um uh, cautiously optimistic so then we go so that's it with them y'all they're just happy uh, and everything now i told you sam and dante was with sasha and gladys earlier so they were there sasha is at the hospital one to see willow and two because she's there to talk to a counselor about her guardianship now it's at first it's just Sasha and Gladys and Gladys is are you sure about this what about you just had that incident almost had a meltdown on um heart and home and she said no I didn't Gladys they were trying to play me I didn't actually hear a baby in my ear and thank God Cody was there so at this point Sam and Dante come up and she tells them what she got going on and they're like okay cool but then Dante gets a phone call for the PCPD so he's like I gotta answer this so then it's just Sam Gladys and Sasha and Sasha you know it's just like I'm so excited about this and Gladys said yeah but it's not etched in stone and Sam said dang Gladys would you not happy about what's going on with Sasha about she could be you know her own guardian and all that and she not she not and sam looking at gladys sideways or whatever and sasha said of course i mean gladys was like of course i'm happy but you know i want the best with her for her so dante comes back and they start um you know because they were talking about cody earlier and he tells gladys i can't give you any information on that they don't trust gladys you know how they feel about gladys but um sam is just like sasha good luck with your guardianship and everything and she leaves but she gives gladys the side eye again so then the doctor comes out and they say his name twice i said mm. and so he comes out and Glad gladys is gonna go back with sasha he says um no i just need um I just need Sasha. I don't need you to come back. 
um, I need to, you know, talk to her and see where she is with all of this. And so she's like, okay. So he talks to Glut to Sasha, and she's telling him everything, you know, about her and Glass's relationship. And he says, tell me why you and Gladys, um, like you would bump heads, because she mentioned about them at first bumping heads or whatever. So then after that, um, Damon comes out. I guess that's his name, if I remember correctly correctly and we find out he's one of the guys at miss Wu's table that be playing and he said we haven't seen you in a while and she and she was like yeah i'm trying to she trying to let go of that um herself and so i mean i already think that she asked him do you think you need to remove yourself since we know each other so now that makes me wonder if he says that sasha um should be released from her guardianship will she say something about it or will she end up blackmailing him telling miss Wu something i don't know child i don't know what's gonna end up happening but that's all i got for you today i think i believe that's all i saw so that's all i got for you today um don't forget to like comment and subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time on what happened to the, on the soaps general hospital edition thank you so much for watching goodbye